Okay, so we've had lots of questions on how we built our king bed frame on our Happy Jack system. And so I'm going to go over with you uh, how I did it um, and the thought process behind exactly what I did. Um, so let's take a look. So if you're not familiar with the Happy Jack system, <clears throat> at least ours on our grand design, had a queen bed that ran east to west. Uh, it was roughly 96 inches lengthwise and I believe about 60 inches wide. Um, and it stopped about right here, right where this metal, this metal uh, bracket is. And um, it just wasn't um, large enough for my wife and I. We decided to make our, the, the king bedroom into our bunk room for our boys. So this was going to be our bedroom. Um, and so... Both my wife and I like to, to get up in the middle of the night and use the restroom. And if we had kept the bed east-west, then one of us would have to climb up over the other one to go to the restroom. Um, so between that and the size being a little bit too small. And the TV. And, and the TV. And because we, uh, we decided to, um, um, that we wanted a little bit more space, we went ahead and figured let's go ahead and try and build a frame. Um, and so that's essentially what we did. And so let me explain a little bit about the Happy Jack system itself. You have a top, um, the top of the Happy Jack system is, has four through bolts. Um, and they, they attach in the four corners of your queen bed. One here, one there, and then two on that side. Um, this raises and lowers <clears throat> from a bracket below the top. So there's this little sliding bracket right here. This is where your couch and everything else goes into. I think it goes this way. And it just kind of hangs right there. I have some extra bolts in here. Um, if you didn't have these bolts, this would sit here. And then this bracket is what your, your Happy Jack couch attaches to. And my wife, Joanna, uh, was wondering why we didn't use this bracket. And the reason we didn't use that is because when this is attached, it sits roughly like that. And it's real kind of floppy. Um, and I couldn't think of a good way to fully um, uh, attach this and make it sturdy without it kind of flopping and, and wiggling around. So I figured the best approach would be the top. The problem with the top is, if anybody knows the Happy Jack system, is there are these, uh, they use little pins. I don't have, yep, I do have them. There's these little pins. These little pins have two screws that go on the top and the bottom. And these pins, sit inside this channel. If you want to come get this love, they sit inside this channel and this channel right here, if we can get that on video, sits inside just like that. Yep. So this channel right there is where this bracket sits. You put two screws in there and what this bracket does is it stops this top bar from going down past that. So it comes down, hits this bracket and the bottom bracket separates and keeps the top um, stationary so it can't go lower than that now they do have some extra holes so you can you have it looks like maybe about eight to ten inches worth of adjustment on here but what we did is we entirely removed it so we can take this bed frame and go from the ceiling or close to the ceiling all the way to the ground um, and because we didn't want to have to be stuck here because you can think about it so right now this is probably at about 50 and eh, maybe about 54 inches or so. Um, I'm six foot, so I'm 72, so maybe 60 inches. And you gotta think, if the bed stopped here, you have a frame on top of it, and then you've got another 12 inch mattress, the, the, bot, or the, the very top of the, the bed would be about right here. So every time we got into it, we'd be getting up about six foot just to get into the bed. Um, and that wasn't gonna work for us. So we needed to lower it more. So what we did is we completely removed these, which allowed us to, to bring it down um, however low we wanted, okay? That was the first step. The second step is, do I have one of the bolts here? Yep, so each corner of the Happy Jack system had one of these little through bolts with a cotter pin and a washer. So this little pin sat inside, came through, and then you had this little pin that went in, okay? The problem is, is it's secure with the original frame, queen frame, because it's aluminum made, so it's got aluminum box tubing, and it's pretty secure, but this wiggles, okay? And the problem with this bed frame is it would wiggle too if this was still in there. So what I did is I removed these and replaced them with 7 16 inch, inch and a half bolts. 
um, with uh, washers and locking washers. Um, and I, I replaced all four. So that, that made it much sturdier so we didn't have to worry about it wobbling. Um, here's the, the next problem we, we encountered with this bed frame is because this top bracket floats on top of the bottom brackets, um, even when I put these pins in there, if we were to get on this side of the bed and, and pull down, the, the back portion or where our head would be would flop up. So I could literally take this and push up, okay? And so what we needed to do was actually, I, I ended up making some brackets um, and that's what this little L bracket is. I got a $3.50 bracket from Home Depot, cut it down, painted it black, and then I bolted it in to hold this top bracket to the bottom movable bracket here, and that made it a lot more secure. Um, it wasn't easy to do. Um, I also had to think about if I um, completely bolted this in and made it real, real tight, then um, it would it would squeeze the frame of this this happy jack system and then it wouldn't move at all So I ended up having to stack about four washers um, So how this bolt system is set up is you've got the bolt a locking washer a flat washer Then you've got the flat bracket you've got four um, Flat washers behind it to give you just enough space to, to pull the bracket off because essentially we want this bracket to um, to keep the bed from going up and down, but we don't need any for as far as play here is we don't need it real tight against the frame. We're just keeping it from going up and down. Um, so I stacked four more washers and then it screwed directly into the um, the, the machined threads of the um, Happy Jack system. And if I remember properly, I believe this bolt is a quarter inch by twenty, um, and I used inch to inch and a quarter long bolts on these. Um, and now it's it's entirely secure. So I mean I can hang on this um, My wife and I both hung on this at the same time and it was not uh, It didn't move at all. We don't have to worry about that. Um, I'd say each each two by four These are these are cut at 80 inches and then we've got an inch and a half on each side The mattress size we're using is going to be 72 by 80. It's an RV um, King size mattress and uh, so Supposedly each two by four is approximately 10 to 11 pounds stud wise um, If we were rounding up, um, I think there's nine here two four six eight nine ten nine or ten So I'd say this frame with some miscellaneous hardware with these With this black um, steel framing on the sides is probably about a hundred to 125 pounds or so um, I'm about 155 pounds or so so combined, we're probably looking at about 250 pounds, and it is stout, um, including my wife. I mean, we're, we're, this, this bed isn't moving. So our mattress is probably going to weigh about 75 pounds, and I have no doubt that this, this will hold it. According to Lippert's website, I believe it's got a static uh, load range of about 450 pounds, or excuse me, a dynamic range of about 450 pounds, and I think a static load of about 600 pounds, and my wife and I will not even get close to approaching that. Um, so we should feel relatively secure. The only, the only thing we were kind of concerned about was uh, this edge, which comes over approximately 20, 25 inches or so. Um, and that's what we were concerned with is when we're getting on and off to make sure this is secure. But as you can see, I mean, I can hang on it and it doesn't move. Um, so this is just the frame. We're gonna add, we're gonna add some slats above it every few inches. Um, and that will tie into all these studs. Um, and then we'll be putting our mattress on top and then we should have again the, the mattress is going to be 72 inches wide and I think from from bracket to bracket we've got about 90 inches so we should be able to no I think 94 inches somewhere on there but what we should be able to do is build a small kind of um, uh, side table area of about 14 inches on both sides so we'll be able to have our king mattress and a side table area on both sides um, we'll just, uh, we will uh, use the plug down here. We don't have any plugs up here, so we'll use the plug down here and we'll be able to charge our phone and everything like that. Uh, without much of a problem, I might add a couple lights. And I think, I believe Joe, my wife, wants to add lights underneath and make it kind of fancy. So we'll, we'll give that a shot too. Um, this was tied in with uh, just your standard two by four hangers. These all came uh, normally steel colored. 
ended up painting them all black and then we used some brass hardware which is kind of cool um, we just used inch and a quarter construction screws uh, these are actually cabinet screws t15 head size uh, and they're brass and that's kind of what we're going for so that worked out pretty well um, but yeah there were a few oh crap moments when we were building this um, I dropped some screws uh, the happy jack system is is held in this bottom bracket is held in with some some teeth into what looks like a bicycle chain and that's what holds it um, so I had a few oh crap moments when it came to building this uh, but it, it it went together relatively easy and uh, yeah, so let, let's show you the operation of it. So we're, we'll take it up and down so you can see that it goes uh, uh, down and all the way up. So our bed with the thickness of it will probably go to about right there. We've got the mattress is about 12 inches plus we've got some slats on top. And I think I'm going to build a, a headboard in the back. So you can see again, I'm six foot. This is probably, you know, every bit of 80 inches or so. Um, so plenty of room to, to walk underneath um, and put anything we need underneath. I think our dresser will probably go to about right here. So I'm not sure that will lower any more than this. Um, and if that's the case, we can just use a small step stool to get in and off, to get in and out. And we'll probably just you know, keep it folded up during the day, but parking it and then we should be able to get on. Um, you can see, I mean, it carries my weight just fine. Um, and this is just on two studs. Um, and uh, and so you can imagine with with your weight spread out, there's really there's really not much of an issue. But this will go all the way to the ground. When I continue to build this and put the slats on it, I will take it to the ground to continue building it. Um, but that's what in removing those little those little small rectangular bracket pieces that keep the the top from from going all the way down. Uh, that's what I removed to, to be able to do this. So yeah, so I mean if you needed to, to bring it all the way down to, to change um, your sheets to, to be able to do anything to get to your side tables or something like that, this makes this makes life a lot easier. I haven't even tried sitting on it yet, but looks like you can sit on it just fine. That's how we built it. Um, again, we're just going to use uh, we're just going to use <clears throat> one by threes that we painted, and they're just going to they're just going to run from one side to the other, and we're just going to continue along. And then I'll just use some maybe half inch or three quarter inch plywood to build little stands for us on each side. And then outside of that, we'll just you know put the mattress on top of the slats, and we should have enough airflow that we don't get any sort of weird musky um, damp issues underneath our mattress. And that's that's really it. So we'll make another video once it's all put together. Um, and show you how I put together the, the nightstand areas um, and then show you the operation of it. Once you get to know the, the Lipper Happy Jack system well, um, it all kind of makes sense. Um, but originally it's real foreign. When we first started doing this, I looked at all the hardware involved and I, I thought I was in over my head. But realistically, once you take a look at it, you realize how it's put together, what bolts and what brackets you can utilize, it makes life a lot easier. So we will uh, we'll make a video when it's done, and you know we'll we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, I am more than happy to answer them for you. Um, if it comes to any questions regarding the Happy Jack system or how I mounted this frame. The bolts or the hardware that I used. Um, I didn't go into it earlier, but even something as simple as adding felt to the back of the brackets so it wouldn't scrape the Happy Jack system um, we used. But again, any, any questions, comments, anything like that, let us know and I'll be happy to answer them for you.